Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name's Marie. Let's do a quick showdown of eye gels. What are eye gels, you say? Well, they tend to be masks that are made of some type of cellulose material that are designed to hydrate, brighten, and lift the eye area. Who are eye gels good for? Well, who are they not good for? It's a real question. Everyone can benefit from an eye gel. Start a new job? You need eye gels. Have a new baby? Eye gels. Caring for an ailing parent? Eye gels. Mm, stressed over a breakup? Eye gels. Uh, Want to relax and look your best? Eye gels. All right, let's jump into two of the eye gels on the market in the green beauty sector and um, compare, contrast, and discuss. So first up, I have a little makeup on. Let's take a baby wipe and show you what we're working with. too bad they've been worse believe it or not all right what I definitely suffer from is I don't tend to have dark circles unless I'm going on excessive sleep deprivation um, but I do have a ton of fine lines here and a loss of volume here so when I experience dehydration in my under eye area this gets very shallow and looks makes me look very old and then these fine lines from all this squinting laughing surfing um, well they're they're ever more prominent when my skin is dehydrated so I definitely lean on eye gels to help me look my best let's do some quick stats the honest hazel eye gels you can find them on Amazon or their website there's a three pack uh, that goes for $14 making them about 460 per pack. Now, 100% pure, you can find these on Pharmaca, and they generally tend to be 15% off, making them a five pack for $25.50. However, you may not know this, but on Pharmaca, you can double coupon, and they usually have a 20% off coupon that you can apply to the $25.40, bringing the five pack down to $20.40, making each pack around $4. You're welcome. You can actually do that today with Wellness 20. All right, let's talk texture. I'm not gonna lie. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the 100% pure eye gels. I always have them in my fridge. Now, I apply them a little differently than most people because this is an area that I'm really trying to hydrate out here and this area right here, I really like to kind of get in there because this area, that pocket I mentioned is where I tend to look really dehydrated. So that application actually works really well for me to attack all these fine lines that I have here. But like I said, they're a little thicker than you would think. They smell beautifully of green tea. Now, this will be my first time tr applying the Honest Hazel. I'm gonna warn you, I may be a little bit biased. There's a couple other things we'll get into that um, don't have me convinced. All right, these are much thinner already in texture. They have a nice smell. They're a little more flimsy, um, but they feel nice. These obviously feel like they're gonna stay in place better because these are just a, have a slipperier, slipperier texture to them. Now for both of these products on their website, they really don't give any um, extensive directions, meaning they don't tell you when to take them off. Um, that can be a problem because as I perused Amazon, I saw some reviews saying people got a really bad reaction to them. One girl in, in her description of the reaction said she left them on for hours. So um, a simple directions on their part might prevent people from that type of reaction. Generally, you don't wanna leave a skincare product on for hours. Now, let's look at the ingredients lists. 
And kind of a red flag for me on the Honest Hazel site is that they don't give the um, scientific names for their ingredients, they give the common names. So they say vitamin C, but they don't tell you what kind. They say vitamin E, but they don't tell you what kind. They say hyaluronic acid and they say rose oil, glycerin. I mean, we're looking at some good ingredients. Um, we don't know if there's a preservative or not. We don't know what the mask is made of. That's not really readily apparent from the ingredients lists. Um, so so that as a company kind of gives me a red flag and it's interesting that they're being sold on Amazon, they're being touted by Goop, 11,000 followers on Instagram and yet they're, nobody's called them out on that ingredients list. Uh, it's interesting to me. Now the 100% pure ingredients list is aloe, green tea, green coffee, sodium ascorbate, so that's vitamin C, caffeine, hyaluronic acid, plant cellulose, um, and they say their hydrogel masks are made mostly from aloe. So, you know, when we stack up the ingredients lists, just based on that alone, 100% um, pure wins, simply because it contains caffeine and green tea and vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So we're working with a great ingredients list. And as far as I can see, we don't have any essential oils. Um, that was kind of one thing that made me a little bit skeptical about this, that it contains rose oil. I don't know. I, I just don't generally think that I want that around my eyes. I'm gonna go drink a little coffee and we'll check back in because proof's in the pudding, right? Which under eye area will look better? I took the patches off and looked at a close up four times magnified mirror to get a really good view. It kind of played out like I thought. Uh, with the 100% pure side winning. Um, both sides, let's take a look close up. Both sides look hydrated. So that is really nice. Both sides look hydrated. The thing about the 100% pure side is that it also looks lifted and firm. Um, besides just looking hydrated. And I stared at this mirror for scrutiny. Um, but I just feel like I can see a lift, a little bit of a lift um, against the fine lines that I don't see in the Honest Hazel. The other thing that I enjoy about using the 100% Pure Masks is that as I am leaving them on, this area starts to kind of decrease and almost start to evaporate. And um, usually that's because it's right in this crease where I told you I have volume loss and dehydration. And that's because it's, I feel like all that hydration is just getting packed into that little corner right there. So for me, easy. It's gotta be the 100% pure. I did come into this a little bit biased simply because I've used this product so much. But as I researched this, um, the couple questionable reviews on Amazon of people having like serious burns around their eyes, on top of the fact that they don't list the scientific names, all play into this guy being the sheer winner. Yes, that feels better.